This week, episode 295 of Stogie Geeks, I have the awesome opportunity to hear some gossip and some new products that are being relaunched. I speak to Raul Flores from CLE Cigars. He is the marketing director. We're going to talk about a recent trip to Honduras. We're also going to talk about how CLE brings back Windward Hills. Maybe uh, Paul Flowers will make an appearance, and we're talking all things CLE and Asylum right here on this week's edition of the Stogie Geeks. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Welcome everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe and I are already silly. Oh yeah. yeah. Joe Josepa, aka Joe Hollywood is here with me in studio. I'm fired up. Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. Welcome to episode 295 of Stogie Geeks. I'm your host, Joe Hozempa. Thank you for tuning in. If you want the show notes, links, and what's going on with the show, you can go to stogiegeeks.com forward slash 295, and all the show notes will be there. Five more episodes to episode 300. I don't even know what we have planned for that. Uh, all I know is that's just a, a, a hop, skip, and a jump away. Um, if you haven't heard, CLE is bringing back uh, Waynewood Hills brand. We're excited to uh, learn more about that. We're going to talk about a recent trip that Raul and company made to Honduras. And Paul Flowers, towards the end of the show, is going to make a, uh, a, a cameo appearance and stop by. Raul, marketing director for CLE, how are you? I'm great. I'm great, Joe. How are you, man? I'm doing good. Uh, you are in sunny Florida where it's like 71 or 2 degrees, <laughs> and it's about 7 here. So um, it's going to be a heat wave tomorrow, t- a high of 28, so we're good. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so it's crazy. It's crazy. So um, I, w- I want to talk about a couple of things here. Uh, you can pick which one you want to uh, talk about first. We could talk about a sampling program. We could talk about uh, how you're bringing back the uh winewood hills brand and uh you recently went to honduras which is even warmer than miami it's no actually right now they were uh, a, a very a little bit cold so the the weather was perfect it was around uh, the 69s uh, so 70s yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean cold yeah. right <laughs> hey that's a little cold over there <laughs> yeah sure sure absolutely um talk to me let's talk about the um the brand, the Wayward Hills, it, the Wayward Hills. Yes. Okay. So Christian had a, a vision like a long time ago. So when I started uh, working with him, 2012, he came up to me and he's like, "You know what? I want to design a very simple cigar, but yet, um, very. How can I explain? He had this vision. Um, let me see. Can you see that? The oh, perfect. Here yeah. You go. Great. So he wanted to 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 have this. Uh, cigar that was like an easy take on on these blends so he had this idea a long time ago uh, when i got back to the company i uh, he told me the same thing so i was like wow it's been a while since you told me this that you had this idea and then uh, he's like you know what but i want to i want to really do it this year so we were looking for some creative names and uh, we wanted to kind of tie it with uh, asylum as well so we were looking for this um haunted house theme to it, <clears throat> so we we came up with uh, uh, Waverly Hills, but Waverly Hills uh, 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 san- oh, Sanitarium was already uh, taken, so we wanted to stay away with it. We didn't want to have any problems, so we thought about Winwood, you know, and bring it the name back because when we had uh, Winwood Cigar Factory, it was such a cool vibe, and that we kind of wanted to bring that back again. 
So we we merged them together. You know, we put Winwood and then Waverly Hills. Okay. Combine them. And then we came up with this uh, really cool Winwood Hills uh, name, which I, I love the name. I love the, the the branding behind it. So we came up with this idea. That's and awesome. And not a lot of, not a lot of people know this, but um, actually the logo it's it's um, represents a window. And we came up with this. We were looking at we we did so much research. Um, we went over a lot of uh, haunted uh, haunted houses and haunted uh, sanitarium, and um, we saw this uh, window. And Christian and I were like, "Look, this has to be it." So yeah, yeah. we we moved it to a logo, and it's the original logo now. Mm. That's awesome. That's awesome. That, that's why when I, when I was doing the introduction, I was kind of playing with the words. So you've actually combined the words. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 gotcha. Yes. All right. That's why I, I, I'm not totally off my rocker by knowing the original blend and then coming back and then doing uh, that yeah. there. So, yeah, really, yeah, that's awesome. So is that under the CLE or the asylum or is that kind of like going to be a separate project and, 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 and branch out from a branding and advertising perspective? Well, we're kind of branching out a little bit. So we're not really uh, Asylum. We're not CLE. It's its own identity, Winwood Hills. Maybe yep. there's more more products coming in the way as well. And it, we can open more ideas with it. So we wanted to have that as well. Um, so, yes, it, we, we're not tying it to Asylum specifically or CLE. This is its own its own thing. It's yeah, sure. by itself. So what yeah. made you come up with that kind of theme, that haunted house theme and are you guys ghost hunters well, or anything like that? Or, <laughs> or, <you know? laughs> well, we like we like the asylum theme um, a lot, so we kind of wanted to have that tight. But I mean, once we started working and when we 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 came up with this idea, we saw it as a different theme. So now we'll, every time we're talking and we have something new to say, we're like, well, this works better for Winwood Hills. Well, this works better for Asylum. So now we can have something to play out. Yeah. And, and have them, you know, tie one to another. So every time we have a new idea, we choose which one we can play with or work with and, and it's going to be tight. So, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's awesome. Now, size wise for right now, uh, they're available in Robusto, but you have three different blends. Yes, yes. So it's the size is let me show you. Let me open one box for you because I, I really want you guys to see how beautiful this packaging is. And it's your regular box. Well, just the, the, the careful. Don't cut yourself on the Story Geek show. Over here. I won't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, please just look how beautiful these things are. Woo. Oh wow! Yeah, was that twenty five count? Twenty count? It's a fifty count box. Okay, cool. It's a fifty count. It's a very classic ring, which that's one of the things we wanted to do. Keep it classy. You know, we have these bands. I'll show you how the cigar looks now. There yeah, yeah. Go. That's Such awesome. a beautiful thing. Yeah. Put it up the other Boom. way. Yeah, yeah. So we, what is that? Like fifty six ring gauge? I mean, I'm I'm looking at it. Is that? Yeah, it's a fifty ring gauge. Yep. Uh, four and a half. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. What's the blend on that? So this is all authentic Rojo. This one, it's my favorite. It's the Mayhem. It's it, this one comes from uh, uh, Aladino's factory in Honduras. There, there, three of them are Hondurans. Uh, instead of uh, except Unhinge and um, Derange, they both have uh, Dominican tobacco as well. Okay. So those but are the, the three names. You have Deranged, yes. uh, Unhinge. And what was the third one? Mayhem. The Mayhem. Yep. Yes. Awesome. That's awesome. And believe it or not, these are names that we came up like uh, a while ago. And it's funny how now every time I turn on the news, I hear these names all the time. Yeah, Mayhem, sure. Unhinge. Uh, well, I mean, look, 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 look at what the hell's going on on the news. I mean, you got mayhem and shit's coming unhinged. And what was the other one? <laughs> it's the range. The, the range. range. There you go. I mean, you know, shit. <laughs> so all these, all these names are are popping out, are coming out, and and it's very interesting to hear them all the time in the news. So I'm really happy every time we come up with some idea, uh, it's out there in the news somehow, or in the TV, or on Instagram. Uh, we came up with Medulla Oblongata, and right before we did that, uh, what's called 
I believe Kanye West had a song, Medulla Oblongata, as well. So that, that's really cool, man. I, I really like how we are coming up with trendy words that are actually out there as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you are the marketing director, so trendy Thank words you, would, would be, you know, <laughs> at, least, at least that's like employment. That's job employment for you right there, right? <laughs> Look, boss. It's we, a cute we, 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 yeah, we, we have all these trendy words that are happening. Man. You know, that's awesome. Um, when are they available? They are available now. Uh, you should find them uh, in your in local cigar shop. If not, uh, we can you know you can send us a, an email. Or we'll, we'll let you know exactly where you can find them. They're available in a fifty count box, or we have bundles of twenty five. Yep, you can see right here. That's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So uh, you just decided to stick with with the robusto size. Right now, yes. Yeah. Like I said, it's a, it's a very simple uh, uh, brand. Mm -hmm. It's an easy take. It's a cigar that you want to grab, uh, you want to see the game or something. It's, it's, it's a quick smoke, but it's very easy. For instance, this this Mayhem, it's uh, authentic Corojo, but it's a very easy take on a Corojo. It's, at the beginning, I was like, well, if I have Corojo, I could just smoke an Eiroa First 20, which are my favorites. Um, but then uh, we were at the sales meeting, and all we brought was the Mayhems. And I'm like, all right, let, let me just smoke the Mayhem. So, man, I couldn't stop smoking these guys. Like, one after another one, and I would love them. So, uh, it's a very good take on, on Corojo. It's very, it's, a, I don't want to say it's mild, but it's, it's very enjoyable. It's just very easy smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, you're, you're tantalizing my palate there. I can't wait to, to, to <laughs> get my hands on I will make you this available for you, man, so you can give him a shot, man. I, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, now, you recently went to Honduras. Did you go for personal or did you go for, for the business and, and, and set things up for this project? Well, I'm very excited to announce that we have a few blends on the way. And Christian has this thing where he gets very inspired when he's in Honduras in his factory and he's smelling all these uh, cigars and he's trying all these blends. So this is the only way that he, he can actually have good cigars in your hand. So if he goes to Honduras, he tries the cigars and all the smells of it, you know, the, the whole environment, just, it's just amazing. So it gives him that, that uh, creative uh, juices, I guess. Um, and that's how he is able to, accomplish his blends mm -hmm. so we went over there uh also we wanted to update everything that we have we recently launched our website so if you guys want to check it out at clecigars.com and um, it's very informative and now we have you know more things we we, we actually took some drone pictures uh, drone footage so we're gonna have all that we're gonna be able to show you where group we grow the tobacco uh, everything is pretty much updated. So that, that was like the main thing that, of the trip. We wanted to have everything updated for you guys. Also try the new blends. Um, so yeah, we're, we're on top of everything that, that, that we wanted to do, updating everything that we have. So it, it's been a, a really nice, interesting year. We, we're starting really strong with the brands. Um, and we want to make sure everybody has an amazing experience with the company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, paint the picture for the Stoy Geeks listener who's either watching or listening uh, on this, on the uh, audio version of what it's like in the day of the factory. I want a description. If you see like birds or everything, I want a, I want a nice Man. visual. You got, you got four minutes. So, Give me a, you know, take me to Honduras because it's cold right I'm gonna now. I'm going to take you right to Honduras, man. Uh, I wake <laughs> First of all, you wake up with this amazing weather. When I, I, got, I was lucky enough to be in a, like a 60 to 70 weather. So imagine it, it was just perfect. Um, you're in the middle of mountains and the, man, it's like, it's paradise there. It's just, you, you hear a bunch of, you're wake, waking up every day with the sound of, of roosters, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all these wild animals, man. You hear everything. Uh, Don Julio has all kinds of animals there, so you hear everything there. Um, so you you wake up with with an amazing weather, um, full of nature. It's all green there. It's beautiful nature. Um, it's like the, the the classic picture that you see in a postcard, and you're like, man, I wish I could be there. Mm -hmm. um, it's we were waking up at five in the morning, but people there already were were up like by four 
you know, people were already working there at four in the morning. So this is another thing that, that to me was so special. And, and I can understand where Christian comes from. Like, this is the hardworking, these are very hardworking people and people that wake up every day at four, five in the morning. They go and they give 110%, you know, and they're very dedicated. The discipline, the amount of discipline um, they have in the, in the factories, just unbelievable, man. From, from uh, it, it's really overwhelming. It, it, it's like very beautiful to watch everybody working in a, in a, in a single pace, you know, and you could see that they're like concentrated because when you talk to them, they kind of look at you like, whoa, I'm working. Don't bother me. But mm-hmm. then they realize, okay, <laughs> it, it's a regular person. Let me say hi to him. So now they're, they're them again, you know, but so you have to kind of poke them a little bit like, hey, hey, man, you can smile, you know, hey, man, you can you can say hi to the camera. And that's when they come like they kind of look everywhere to kind of ask permission. But they're so they're so into making the cigars. They're so into, you know, we went uh, to the fields. These guys were like, you know, putting each plant to perfection. And they were just making sure everything was going the right way. Um, and, th- and then I see this interesting thing where kids, there's some kids that take the lunch to their parents. Or, and so they're in these bags. And at one, these kids go in this little place, uh, grab the lunch, take it to them. And it's just a bunch of kids with bicycles. This is another thing that I, I kind of like over there. It's uh, everybody is like walking in a bicycle mm. or just uh, they don't have uh, the, the things that we do the, the, the things that we do have uh, so it's interesting to watch uh, how they start the day how humble these people are and uh, you realize all the work that goes to a cigar you know mm. so i understand like i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you this it's a, a quick true story but one time in a uh, winwood uh, winwood cigar factory uh, somebody told me like, "Hey, Ro, can you pass me a cigar?" And I did the mistake of kind of like just throwing at them. And Christian went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Why the hell do you do that, man? Don't ever throw a cigar like that. People wake up every day, every morning, very early. To don't ever do that again in front of me. Yeah, yeah. So when he did that, I was like, I didn't quite understood that, you know. But now that I see this. I can understand a lot, you know. Yeah, and, it's, and it's it's, it's kind of like a testament to where you you know the the workers are honing in their craft of premium cigars. They are hand rolled. There is yep. a process. It takes time. Some rollers are better than others, and you know uh, even within your your factory, I'm sure you know you have uh, special rollers who handle certain blends and all of that stuff. And you know it it it's uh it's it's just a testament as to how much passion and how much thoughtfulness and hard work and labor that goes into the process. It's, it's a lot of work. Yes. It's a lot of work. Uh, and I, I'm really happy for, for these people, you know, they also the, the, the service that, that it's provided to them, like they have everything. And I, I was able to spend some time with them, like in lunchtime, They're, they play cards mm-hmm. and they talk about, you know, regular things, but um, they're, they're very fun and very humble people. So, Spending time with them also made me realize and, and love and appreciate what we're doing in this company. It's, it's very important. And that's why we do these type of trips once in a while where we invite people to kind of come and see the, the experience. Because only being in Honduras, in the factory, you can really appreciate these things. You can see Christian's vision. You can see how careful things need to play. You can see how, how much it's in his plate, you know, and, and it's... Um, it's very important what we do here, man. And, and I, I sometimes I get frustrated. You know, he tells me do this, do that, and I'm like, ah, oh, man. And I and then I see his point of view, and then I see why he's telling me that, how sure. he's telling me that, and you realize all these things. And and it's beyond you. It's it's you gotta think everybody. You know, you gotta think all these people are they are depending on us, and we are depending on them, mm-hmm. and everything to to give you you know perfection, to give you perfection. Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, when you're, when you look at it, you know, it, 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 he has a legacy, right? And you have his family history within the business and, you know, it, it, he wants to, uh, kind of protect that. I know that when we had him exclusively here on, uh, the, uh, Stogie Geeks, you know, that was kind of what kind of vibe that he puts out. So I'm sure 
as a boss, you know, or as a manager or CEO or whatever you, mm-hmm. you call him, right? You know, he, put, he puts that vibe out that, you know, it's his family legacy and he wants to include all of his employees, either them here in Miami within the States or the reps on the road all the way down to the people over in the factory. I mean, he, that was the kind of vibe that, that, that I got when I, I had the opportunity to interview him. You know, he, no, definitely we, we protect the brand very much and yeah. he's into the, uh, protecting his brand and, and his image is very important to us. And, and we're doing that, man. And this is why we're in the business right now of, of giving the best and the most premium we can. And not only uh, I'm talking about the cigar, but service as well. And, and that comes with the cigars as well, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's good that you know, your you, CLE is, is, is branching out with a couple of extra projects. And I think it's really awesome that you didn't do the cliche thing and wait till IPCPR to, to, <laughs> to, to, to kind of launch it, right? You know, it's like, yes. you know, with, with, with this day and age, from a technology perspective, you launch it when it's ready. And, you know, you, you know people like you who are marketing the product do that job. I'm sure it'll have a, a big buzz around IPCPR for the vendors that, that want to kind of get in on that or the new vendors and stuff like that. But, you know, it, CLE has enough existing clients from a retail perspective to where you can introduce that and then have it go and get distributed because you have a track record, you know? Definitely, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. And, no, and, and we're coming with more blends. So, and we're coming with very exciting uh, products that I think they're just making us stronger. Yeah. And everything that we're coming up, it's it's just it comes with a lot of good energy. It comes with a lot of good work. And um, now that and I'm not here to brag or anything like that, but now that I am a marketing director for the company, I, I feel really strong of the work that we produce here. And and I make sure that everything looks fine, everything is not rushed, and every every detail is shown. And right. and I want to make sure that we have the best image that we can possibly have. Yeah, well, see, I don't think you, you're you're really bragging. I mean, let let let's for the Story Geeks listener who is just meeting Raul now, Raul's experience with CLE, uh, and please correct me if I'm wrong. But you started as a freelancer just for a Christian. And then, yes. you know, so, so years ago, that was what, 2013, 2014? Was that? Was 20, 2012. Okay, so 2012. So, so, you know, rewind the clock back seven years already, right? You started just as Christian's freelancer. For those of you uh, who don't know what a freelancer is, just 1099s them, gets the job done. You never really work for the company. You just kind of, you just kind of do some some side projects and do that there yes. because he he was building bi- building the company yeah. up, you know. Yeah. And and then so then from there, then you stepped out of the industry for a little bit, correct? Right. Yes. Then you got a your phone rang, and you got a phone call. <laughs> you, you you got a call back and says, "Hey, I think That's you right. should come on and 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 be with." with my company full time and like that's exactly. every freelancer's dream. I mean, you know, yep. it's it's you know, I I I can speak from that from from, from just from the Stogie Geeks experience, right? Stogie Geeks has uh the company itself has um seven other podcasts that are done weekly as well uh that are in the security field and I would only come in for the first year and a half where I would just do the Story Geek show. And then, you know, then I remember going to the big corporate Christmas party, right? And seeing people I never even met before because I was only showing up one day a week. You know, <laughs> I was a freelancer for the just being the host. And then now, you know, it's like you're, you're, you're really part of the family and you kind of have that, that all-inclusiveness. And it kind of makes you feel different. So I, I get it. And the fact that your phone rang, uh, there and 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 it it proves to the marketing ability of you, and it also proves if you know Christian, it also proves that the trust that he has in you. you definitely, know? man. Yeah. Definitely, and and I'm so proud of that, man. A, a lot of um, trust has been uh, deposited on me, and and I ca- I can only just repay, you know, and, mm-hmm. and and give the best, the best I could. That's awesome. Uh, question yes. on the new stuff that's coming out. I, is all right, you know. You know, I gotta dig, right? I gotta dig a little bit. I just gotta, uh-huh. just gotta, just gotta poke <laughs> you a little bit, right? Go for it. Man. Uh, concept wise, is is it gonna kind of have a diff, a different theme, and you're gonna start dealing with different themes, or are you just gonna expand currently on what what you currently have for cigar um, offerings? 
Well, I can give you a hint. Thank you. What, Thank you. I'll box? take a hint. What? What's in the box? <laughs> I'll give you a. But, uh, <laughs> I'll give you a hint, but you know we're gonna have to call that publication first. And I get it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, no. This one. I, I mean, I just gave you a big hint. If if somebody can guess it. Yeah. Hmm. I, I'll give you a, a, the first uh, uh, T-shirt that I, we come up with this, but it, it's this is the theme. What's in the box? Okay. Somebody can guess it. If somebody just comes up with some idea, I'll give you the first design of the box. Okay. So how um, uh, uh, was, uh, is this a contest? What are they going to do? They got to guess? I mean, yeah. I mean, if, if somebody tells you, hey, I know, I think I know what it is, and they, they tell you the theme of it, uh, it's, Perfect. Right. Just let me know, and I, we'll we'll give them. We'll give something. Okay. We'll give something away. All a right. shirt, something, something. I come up with at first, but we're working with this really cool thing. Um, it's for asylum. It's very strong. It's going to be a very strong cigar, and I've already tried it. If you go to Christian's um, IG, you can see a picture of me or a, or a video of me where I where I'm like retro healing, and um, he he gets me doing it, and so I'm like, oh, this is really strong. And then he goes, do it again, do it again. It's really good. It's a really good uh, uh, picture. <laughs> so he made me rip in hell twice, and that's why it, it looks like I'm like suffering there. It's like my first time inhaling, but <laughs> and then you see the, the threads. Everybody's like, "Well, that's what you get for inhaling. That's what you get for this." That's, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. really funny, man. And the, the, the funnier thing, the funniest thing is when he's laughing at me. It's I, I get a kick of that. Not not of me, you know, choking. It's more of <laughs> Christians laughing. Sure. Um, when's that coming out? Respecting March. Okay. Oh, see, awesome. Not even around IPCPR. I like it. Yep. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So no, yeah, no, no. we're we're moving, we're moving fast. We're moving uh, with a, uh, we're, we're we're striving really hard, man. And yeah, man. No, no, we're not waiting for IPCPR. IP, although IPCPR, I have, I have amazing, um, an amazing feeling that we're gonna kick some butt there because um, <laughs> this this time I have more time to design the booth. Uh, last time I, I came in, um, I, there's there, there was all already things going on. So uh, the ideas I wanted to come up with and all these things, well, we put them on the side. But uh, I think this IPCPR is going to be really fun, guys. Mm -hmm. And and please wait for it because uh, you have to visit us. Visit our booth and you'll see. Speaks uh, um, words. How do you say this? Fuck. There you go. <laughs> what well, well, would you need? Some translation? Say, say that again, Christian. Pictures worth a thousand words. Pictures worth a thousand words. Pictures worth a thousand words. So yeah, so you'll yeah. have that right. Gotcha. Um, let's talk about the sampling program. What well, what are you what are you doing here? Okay, sampling program. This is to us very important now. Um, we're no longer doing like cigar events. We we thought that uh, cigar events are not fun anymore. Okay, and wait a minute. Let's stop right there. Wait a minute. Let's get a div. A di no, I think it's great. I, I, um, I, you know, um, I. Let, let's just. I'll tell you why. <laughs> no, because I'm like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Someone's telling me something different. So the rep on the road, right? You, you, whoever wow. your rep is in your geographical territory and all of that stuff, um, they're not going to be doing cigar events. Is that correct? And we're calling. We're not calling them events anymore. We're calling them sampling. Sampling programs. Okay. Yes. Okay. The, re the reason why is because a, a lot of events, you know, people show up and automatically, automatically ex they expect something. Uh, they automatically expecting something for free, you know, and, and it takes away the experience. It takes away what, we, or what we're doing. Yep. And I mean, we don't want to just give free things, you know, and, sure. and, and we want we want people to really try the experience, to try the cigar. A lot of people don't even know. CLE. Sure. A, a lot of people don't even have have don't, haven't even tried the CLE uh, cigars that we have, and they're very good cigars. I've I've I I try them every time. I've smoked them all, and there's always a day that I'm like, you know what? Today I feel like smoking this. You know what? Today I feel like smoking that. And I, I would now go to a cigar shop and now just pick CLEs or Asylums or whichever uh, cigars we have. I enjoy them a lot because now I get, I know them. I know, I know where they come from, how they come from. Mm. And the, that the experience to me, it's worth it because they used to tell me now that cigar sucks. Now that cigar sucks. Now that cigar sucks. Well, let me try it myself. And then I'll tell you if it sucks. And then I'll tell you if it's not good, but I've really liked them all. 
And then, yeah, there's going to be cigars that I'm like, ah, you know what? This is not my, my type of coffee but uh, or my type of cigar, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll smoke it. But um, with, the, with the sampling programs, we're, we're getting rid of the free things and more experience. Mm-hmm. So we're coming up with these packages. Let me, this is a, so they're going to look like this. We're going to have tickets. Yep. You know, you're going to know the, the day of the, the, the sampling event yep. or program. And um, if you want to, you can just buy the tickets from your retail, and then you're gonna get, you're gonna get there one day. We're gonna have the samplers given to you. You buy, a, you purchase a ticket, and when we have a sampler every every month or every two months, we're gonna change the blend. Right, hold, so you, hold that closer. So it looks like you got the Corojo there, you got the Maduro, Wait. you got the Natural. Okay, perfect. Cool. Yeah. So what do you got? You got the CLE Corojo, the Maduro, the box. Got, is, is that a box press Corojo. all the way? Yep. Yep, we have a uh, we have a Connecticut. Yep, we have a Havano. Yep, and we have a Savage. Uh, no, this is a Prieto. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. So we have these ones, which are going to be the CLE. You're also getting an Asylum pack. Oh yeah. With a thirteen, well, Nicaragua. Yep. Right. Honduran, Oblongata. Mm-hmm. Right. And then we have Connecticut. Right. And then we have the yogurt. Yep. So you get to you get to try these blends as well. Now, if you want to try both, we're gonna also give you two ooh. tickets. No, I'm a, I'm only making it up. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> we're also having a, a mixed blend, which is gonna come. Well, I mean, let me show you. Yep. It's gonna come with two asylums. Yep. And then two CLEs. Yep. So, this is what what we're coming up right now, but. We're also giving things away. It's not like we're not going to do it, but we're limiting on the things and we're rewarding more um, for whoever, you know, really wants to be more involved on the brand. Mm -hmm. The ones that try the cigars, they're going to be like, yes, this is what I like. I like this blend. Let me have this. Let me have that. And then we reward you with with anything that we have there to give away, which the cool thing is that now we have amazing swag. Uh, You are wearing an amazing piece right now so we're gonna have those available yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have those available we're gonna have hats and uh, right now we're i came up with a a, a really amazing uh, uh explorer bag and the reason why i came up with this bag is because i i would see a lot of people at uh, multi-vendor events where you know they're they're wearing other brands uh book bag or backpack yep and uh these backpacks are really cool the only problem that they they have is uh, they're very limited for the people that are there buying cigars Mm -hmm. so i i created this bag where you can just fit like you can fit there i'm sorry to say it like this but like probably two babies yep (laughs) i got you sure sure you know you can fit you can fit like maybe uh like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kid you like like six boxes of this size Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no way that these guys are going to be like, no, you know what? I cannot buy anything from you because I don't have space. And that's what the, the one thing that I want to get rid of. I want to give people more space so they can, they're able to buy our cigars as well. You know, you, you just the past five minutes, you brought up a lot of interesting points um, when it comes to cigar events, right? You know, yeah. cigar events. I, and, and I have said on this show constantly they really need a drastic change because, you know, you buy a ticket, it comes with some sort of a meal, and then you get, I don't know, I'm making it up. You buy four, get one, whatever the thing. And then I know with all the some of the FDA laws that they're doing away with that. So obviously, yeah. it's a testament to your creativity saying, okay, you buy a ticket, there you go, and then you get this. But more importantly, it allows people... Because let's face it, if someone goes to a cigar event, let's just look at this from a logistic standpoint, right? If they stay for four hours, they get through two cigars. Mm -hmm. You're giving them four cigars, right? Any cigars, whichever. So they're going to have something to take home and to rekindle the blend and keep the blend top of mind awareness. So that they can say, oh, I like this. I want to look more into this. I want to do that. And then there. And then not only that, if they purchase stuff, you get to get, they get to get a bag or some swag and some other stuff that you, you're still going to be giving out. So you're not being stingy in that. 
You're just mm -hmm. being creative with the delivery and the format of of the event. And you know something? Um, I think that that's going to be a great hit for you. I think that that's going to work for you. Here's the downside, right? Imitation is the best form of flattery, right? So in other words, <laughs> yeah. so in other words, six months from now, you might see, you might see other companies saying, "Hey, you know, that freaking Christian idea is not is not too shabby, right?" <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's it's it, 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 it's the way it goes within any market. It has nothing to do with 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 cigars. You of know? course. <laughs> so imitation is the greatest form of flattery, but I also think that it would attest. I think the retailers need that, right? Uh, of course, I, yeah. I, I could because, you know, when they go to the same old typical event, you know, I go to events all the time. I get I get invited to events all the time. I choose the event not for the, the date. Sorry, sorry. I choose it for the vendor that I like. Right. right. So so if this guy or gal or, 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 or this cigar is there, you know, and what I would say is that, you know, if you can't make an event. This is why you need a relationship with your local tobacconist. Pull him or her aside and say, "Hey, I can't make the events. However, is it is it okay if you give me if you give me whatever the special is?" Most of them should say yes. You know right. what I mean? Like say, "Hey, you know, I can't make the event. I got stuff to do, family commitment, whatever, whatever. You know, I got work. I got this. At least now with the packages, they're gonna be able to smoke too, right?" Leave right. after four hours, eat, get a meal, and then go home and then re rekindle themselves with the actual blend. As opposed to buying four, getting one, yep. and smoking the same thing of one, of whatever exactly. it is that they bought uh, fr uh, from that. So I, I, I think that's great, you know? I, I it's think not, it's a smart it's move. The it's definitely a, a really good move and it's 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 the experience that we want to put out there man it's the CLE experience it's the Euro experience it's the asylum experience and we want to create these experiences where people really enjoy what they're getting you know what they're paying for and 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 really to try the cigars and and to be able for them to say hey man you know what i try i went to this event i tried the cigars they're pretty good sure i don't know i i, I haven't i i didn't I, i've always seen them in the cigar shop you know, and then sometimes it's not a bad thing. Like sometimes when you're there with the with the sales guy, um, he introduces you to his favorite. You sure. Know? So he's not telling you, look, we just got this, we got that. And some do, but um, some just go straight for it. Look, man, this is my favorite. I've been smoking this for a while. So I, I'll recommend this. And they keep introducing the same, same, same. This, this opens for a lot of people to try the cigar. And another thing that we wanted to stay away from is like to not be like the perfume lady in the in the you, when you go to the mall and this lady is like chasing you. Hey, you want to try this? You want to try this? You want to try this? No, if, if you want to come, if you feel comfortable to come to the event, um, it's going to be little people. We're not going to have a big crowded. If it's big crowded, then it's even better for us. But but we want to keep it simple. And we, what we, we really want to do is give people the experience and the opportunity to try the cigars mm. and, and then be the judge. And I promise you, once people start trying the cigars, they will not, they, won't, they can't say anything wrong about the cigars. Yeah. I, 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 I feel this is the, the cigars that Christian makes, the family makes are, are just unbelievably good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what's going on new with Asylum? Because here in the Northeast, it's been kind of silent, kind of in the background cle you know with 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 the new wrappers um with the new shelf presence on the shelf of of how things are displayed now that i got the marketing guy we can have a marketing conversation right you know <laughs> yeah. cle has seemed to to make a um a bigger uh impression on the shelves of the retailers in 2018 from my experience right yes asylum it's been kind of quiet, you know, and, 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 and stuff like that. Is there anything uh, coming big from that, or are they still sticking with those super big ring gauges and still going down that path, or are they going to start to to try to go into some of the smaller stuff with the plants? I know they make smaller stuff. I'm just saying, like, like for, from a marketing perspective, um, is Asylum kind of planning a bigger splash? Well, the thing with Asylum is it, – it it has its own traction, you know, it's a it, momentum with Asylum is you do a few things and then just goes with it. You know, know. People yes. really love the brand. 
And that's something that I see every day in, in Instagram, like their followers or the, our followers are, are, are very committed to the brand. Like um, we have strong followers and, and that's what I want to try to uh, come across. Um, these people love the brand so much that th these guys are the, the ones that are keeping the brand really alive. Like we come up with anything, anything people go crazy. with, And yeah. then that's why the cigar that we're coming out right now, I think it's going to make a big difference because it's, it, it, it's edgy. It's very strong. And that's what a lot of people wanted. Uh, they wanted strong cigars. So we're giving them what they wanted. Mm -hmm. We're also coming out with more luxury brand, which is Asylum as well, but it, it's a more luxury, luxurious uh, cigar. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, whatever we come up with, with Asylum, it has its boom. It, it drives by itself. Yep. I, sometimes I don't need to do, to do so much. It just lounge it, talk about it. It does the rest. Like, thank you for the people that smoke Asylum because with you guys, you know, we, we make uh, a lot of things possible and uh, the love and the commitment and, and the passion that you guys have for the brand. We can tell, we see it in, on Instagram and we post it all the time, man, because uh, we really love it. Um, I think you're going to be, you guys are going to be very pleased with what's coming with, uh, I mean, especially with the gear. We're coming out with a really cool gear that we want to sell on, on our website. And that's another thing that we're, you know, we're putting out there because a lot of people like the Asylum brand and they, they were, we used to have gear, but not, not gear that, was, that it's used the way I'm, I'm putting it right now. Like my t-shirts, like the one that you have right there, I, I take it, we have a hoodie too. And we have, we're going to have all that very soon. Like give me two weeks and everything is going to be online yep. and, and it's going to be available for purchase. Um, but I use these things to the gym. I, I use these things to when I go out and a lot of guys look at me and they're like, Hey man, where, where did you get that t-shirt? That's pretty cool. And I'm, I'm happy to say, you know, we, we have them at the, at the, at the CLE website. Yep. So you can, you can always, uh, give me one second. Something happened here. Ooh. Anyway, can you guys still still yeah. look at me? Yeah, it's something yeah. happening in my computer. Yeah, we can still see. Anyway, it. so so we came up with really cool swag, and like I said, we have these bags, and we have new T-shirts, and a lot of new uh, um, gear that goes with with the whole Asylum theme. So with Asylum, like I said, it's on its own. We 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 run something; it runs by itself. Now, yeah. CLE, we're making this entrance. Yes, it's mm -hmm. important for us to make this entrance because. A lot of people don't know CLE, and uh, that's why these sampling events uh, programs are going to help the the brand even more to get more recognition. And a lot of people know Aeroa, and yet Aeroa it's it's our it's our high end brand, mm -hmm. and we push to that, you know. But um, and it's also we also are are working on Aeroa to make it even better, even stronger. As a matter of fact, let me show you something that you guys probably don't know. Yeah. Also, also oh. for the Stogie Geek listener, Christian was on. I believe it was in May, off the top of my head. I'm 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 not 100 percent sure. You can go to st uh, StogieGeeks.com, type in CLE within the search, and you'll be able to get the interview with Christian. And he actually alluded to that how when he started Asylum with Tom Lazuka. And doing that there, um, you know, it, it, the, it, it, it's just a brand that really took off when it comes to brand recognition, brand loyalty, uh, all of the points that a marketer wants to make where um, CLE, uh, these are Christian's words and not mine. It took it took a little bit more effort. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so if, if, if you missed that interview, you definitely want to go to uh, stogiegeeks.com and check that out. Definitely. So, look. Let me show you this. Uh, these are the new. Um, this is a, a new logo that we have for Aeroa, mm -hmm. and it's very simple. Let me see if you guys can have. It. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, I can e. see it. Yep. All right. Perfect. So, nice. what this is going to do? It this is going to to um, to be used for the for the gear. Not a lot of people like to wear, you know, a, a names brand. I mean, some do, some yeah, don't. I gotcha. But, yeah. But, but now every every logo it's been minimalized and every every uh, word it's been minimalized as well for easy use. So we came up with this idea of just having an E that represents the Iroa brand as well. And this is going for Europe. This is going for for only the the, the clothing. This way we can you know promote uh, our clothing, our swag, 
and and we don't tie it too much with the cigar company just in case uh, you know the rule the uh, FDA had some sure. rules against it or something and that's why we also c- came up with this idea of, of the melted skull that way uh, it's it, its own identity you know it's it's really not tied with asylum it does look like the asylum logo but it's it, it's its own it's it's a different identity yep. completely different yeah i got gotcha. you i got gotcha. you i have a question before I let you go, I have a a, a, a note here that was <laughs> delivered from me from from CLE Cigars, right, with, with some writing on it, and it's signed Paul Flowers. That's right. That's so right, boy. <laughs> t- take 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 me through, because uh, I mean, I was dealing with with a guy named Raul, Raul. right. <laughs> And then and then I get Paul Flowers. So who who the hell is Paul Flowers? Who's who's Paul Flowers? So Paul <laughs> Flowers is is um it's Raul Flores, you know, it's me. The the only reason why we change it, I mean I they call me Paul Flowers is because uh Tyler here that works here, Baba Bui. Um he calls me Paul Flowers sometimes because it's easier to pronounce than Raul Flores, you know? <laughs> and it's Paul, you couldn't have come up with a different, a cooler name than that. <laughs> well, you you see, it's funny because when when I when I tell my name, uh, I guess uh, the the gringo way, it's it's Raul, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but then he's like, bro, you know what? It would be much better if you just say Paul Flowers, you know, Raul Flores, Paul Flowers. So I was like, you know what, Paul Flowers it is. And then um, a long time ago, um, ah man, this guy's name, uh, Room One Hundred One. I forgot his name. Just forgot his name right now. From Room Room 101. Help me out. Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Oh, okay, okay, we okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Well, uh, uh, so- we, 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 we talk about CLE today, right? I don't like oh, the Okay, mix. my bad, my bad. <laughs> right. so this, 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 guy, this guy used to call me Mr. Flowers. Yeah, um, yeah. So it kind of tied together. So, so it was perfect. Um, <laughs> So yeah, Paul Flowers it is. Some people call me Paul Flowers. Sometimes they introduce me like as Paul Flowers instead of Raul Flores, because then when I say Raul, they're like, "What? Say that again?" Raul. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Raul. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey! Don't make fun of the gringos, right? There. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's crazy. Uh, so anything updated? I I, I know you kind of touched upon it, but before I let you go about CLE, I know I know you got something coming out in March. Um, you know, they can stay close to your website. Uh, they stay close to you and follow you on social media. Definitely social media. Follow us on social media. Um, CLE Cigar, uh, no plural, just CLE Cigar or Asylum underscore uh, cigars, Ado underscore uh, cigars as well. And then you can follow follow us there and we'll, we'll always update things there or the website. Now the website looks amazing. Uh, we had a, an amazing uh, designer. Jose Ar- Arbusto is our, our, our guy. And um, he, he's made a really good uh, job. He's also a photographer, so he takes uh, some of the pictures uh, of that website. But he's, he's, he understands me a lot with the image of the brand. Uh, it's, uh, we've worked together in several occasions for other projects, big projects. So it's, uh, we, we were able to, to come up with this amazing design for the website. The same thing, um, very minimal, very to the point and uh, I think it's a website that it's very modern I don't think no one in the industry has a, a website like we have so yeah I'm gonna check it out I, I did not check out the, <laughs> I did not check check out to the uh, new website yet I wasn't aware yeah. that that you got a new one for sure so well thank you for the update man uh, I appreciate no problem, it man. I appreciate it I'm looking forward to trying the new blends and and uh, at least I don't have to wait till Till August, by the time it gets here, it's going to be throughout the whole year. So definitely, you know. no, we're coming up with new stuff. Uh, we start waiting in uh, March, and we want to come up with one that it was going to be released like probably May. So it, it, it's all also um, coming in earlier than than June. So it's good. It's good stuff. Keep us updated, as always, Raúl. Or AKA Paul, thank you for showing up here and give us an update of all things CLE and Asylum Scars on Stogie Geeks. Stay tuned. Next segment, Sticks of the Week.